Welcome to Workspace 365. My name is Laurens Holtkamp, Cloud Support Engineer at New Day at Work. Today we will take a closer look at Clientless RDP. The Clientless RDP app is a new powerful app in Workspace 365 to manage and use all the RDP connections over HTML5 and with single sign-on. Therefore we created a simple way to manage and create connections for the admin. In this video I'll show you how to configure Clientless RDP with Paint. But keep in mind that any app can be configured. Do you also want to simplify work? Click on Options menu and Settings. Choose Clientless RDP on the left. In Workspace 365 you need to configure the Clientless RDP gateway first. This gateway manages all the RDP connections. The connections can be set up in the connection page. The gateway settings can be provided by the Clientless RDP gateway admin. Click done when ready. To create a new connection, click New Connection. The following fields are mandatory, name and the server address. Optional, you can fill in the port the RDP server is listening on, usually 3389. If this is not specified, the default of 3389 will be used. If you want to make a specific app available from this connection, fill in the Remote App section. Click Done when ready. Now that the gateway and connections are configured, we need to add the created connections to App Management. Go to App Management page. Click Add New App and choose Clientless RDP. From the Gateway drop-down, you can select the preferred gateway. At the Connection field, you can select the connection which you want to select. Furthermore, you can grant permissions to this app. Click done when ready. Now we can add the app to the dashboard. Go to the dashboard and click add new apps. Search the preferred app. And click done when ready. The first time a user opens a clientless RDP app, they will be prompted to fill in their credentials. To change the credentials, go to Settings page and RDP Connection Credentials. Now the clientless RDP app is fully set up and ready to use. If you have any questions, please visit our support portal.